What's going on everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of Chaos Craft. It's your boy Pax and today we are going to be working on a storage system. So we got half of it put in now, the other half is going over here, and then behind us on that wall is going to be a storage silo for all of our bulk storage needs. I'm excited to get this done, it needs to happen so we can close up this hole in the floor. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need is a lot more chests, and we got those right here. So let's go ahead and go and put those into place. Let's try to make them all face the same way. Not that it matters, but it looks better. Couldn't remember which way, which side I started on, so. Oops. Well, that's not the way that you're supposed to go. So that is all of those in place. <clears throat> now there are still a lot of hoppers that we need to make, which means we need a lot more chests. Um, so let's go see how far we can get with, with those. We do have quite a bit of iron smelting up, or smelted up. We've already taken care of the, the hard part and got it all smelted. All right, so we can make 62. Perfect. That was a lot of iron. <laughs> now, I don't think this will get us the rest of the way, but it should get us pretty darn close. Alright, and just got to cut down a few trees because we are short on the amount of wood that we need for sticks. So I think this should just about do us good on that so let's head head on back to the base and start crafting up all the redstone torches that we're going to need for the rest of the storage system well guys would you look at this we happen to catch ourselves a zombie villager and we got him converting into a regular villager as we speak Went ahead and named him Dave because we don't know what kind of trade he's going to give us uh, once he's converted. But we are hoping for, you know, something like mending or a prop four book. That would be fantastic. Um, silk touch, you name it. Um, we're not going to spend too much time trying to get the perfect trade out of him. And who knows? Maybe we'll find another one and and set up a, a breeder. You know, that would be fantastic as well. But we will get him converted up, see what we can get out of him, and then, yeah, start our, start our book collection so that we can get our armor all maxed out, because we're, we're looking pretty rough. Hey! All right. We definitely got some rotten flesh, but you are not going to stay a cleric, my friend. So you go ahead and hang out there. You're not going to despawn since you are now a villager. All right, guys, and with that, we have both sides just about done. We do have to put in the last row of hoppers that are going to span all the way around and then put in the water system on top of that that's going to run everything around the base. Didn't take us too long to build that. That was actually pretty painless. Glad that it's in. Now we just need to go and find more iron. Because we are completely out. So we're going to go do some, some caving, some exploring. Try to get us more iron. And then we're going to finish this off. Alright guys, so we got the water pathways in for the storage system. Now what we're going to need is some honey blocks. So that we can line them up here on top of the hoppers. And as the item comes passing through, the honey blocks actually have a smaller hit box than the hopper itself. So when they line up just right... They'll get sucked in by the hoppers. 
So we're going to need a bee farm. Let's go make it. And with that, bee farm finished. What's up, guys? So this has been several days later from the last cut. Um, we have had some technical difficulties. I've lost footage that got corrupted. It's just been a nightmare. So sorry that this video has taken so long to come out. But let's go over everything that's happened while we've been away. So as you can see, the base has been finished. We are completely set up. Oh no. Rip. Oop. Can't spell rip. So we have finished the, um, the storage system. We have put in a new entrance and exit system, which is still probably going to change up a little bit. Um, our friend Stryker came over and gave us this cool little slime head statue. So we did all of that work for the bee farm just for it to end up actually not working. Um, so we ended up having to go through and redo the whole thing anyways. So, um, so yeah, we made a bee farm, ended up not needing the bee farm kind of the way it goes. <laughs> But we did get to close up the hole in the floor, so we aren't living out of that anymore. In fact, we are living out of this little corner here. Um, so all of our main storage are smaller items that we don't really collect too much of. There used to be an oxalotl in here, the one that we caught in the very beginning of the season, I think episode one. Um, actually, I don't even know if I caught it on camera. Who knows? But anyways... They were in here. They are no longer in here. Don't know what happened, but they're gone. Big sad. And then down here, guys, things have been producing nicely. We have a farm for uh, cocoa beans. We have villager trading. They're going to get a nicer setup here in a bit. Uh, just got to figure out how I want it. Let's see. I don't remember if I've shown you guys the lava farm you guys have seen that one obviously we have a farm for carrots and there's a dark spot all right there do i have any tor i have plenty of torches on me oh oh dude come on this guy and then of course i shoot him and his buddies back into it so they're gonna just absolutely decimate our, our farm there but anyway so yeah we have the farm there for all of our food needs that we're gonna have to now go in and fix thanks to senior slime ah oh, ah oh, oh, not the wheat too ah oh. and then you just as you're trying to punch him you just hit oh that's just wrong on we don't even have our We'll have to go and get our hoe. We don't have it on us. Uh, but yeah, so we also have a cactus farm, which is producing very well. We have our two high flowers for our dyes, because I believe I've already said it, but I do want to open up a concrete shop. We are well on our way to making that happen. Um, we have... We've gotten... Oh, and then I just trampled some as well. well t I'll take you upstairs here in a bit and show you that I do have it all set up for that. What in the world? I can't help you, bud. Sorry. Um, and then I'm sure you just saw this door over here that we're heading to now. Here is Rin's place. Looking mighty pink. Or mighty magenta. Whichever color it is. Um... Yeah, she saw mine and and liked it so much that she decided she needed to decorate hers better. So, they are similar in size, just a different orientation. Um, and then different colors, obviously. But, yeah. 
So that is where we're at, guys. All right, guys, and the last little bit of awesome news to tell you is this. I'm wearing full netherite gear. Pretty sure I'm the only one that's wearing netherite gear right now. Um, need to get some more so that we can upgrade our tools. But we are getting closer and closer to fighting the dragon. We should be able to do that in the coming episodes. Hopefully in the next one. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to try to get as many people involved in that as we can so that it's quicker. But guys, I'm excited. We are doing fantastic. Alright guys, and the last thing to show you is that the base on the outside is finished. Don't mind those chests there, I still have to pick those up. But not only is it finished, it grew taller. It has a hood ornament, basically, there at the top now. I changed my mind about putting in the little house. Um, I went with a flaming pyre instead. Uh, guys, and I'm super excited to announce that there are two new members here on the Chaos Craft server. We have Panzer, who has moved in over here in a humble little shack. Super excited to see what he's going to do this season. As well as our good buddy Ryla, who I'm super stoked. He just joined yesterday. Super stoked to have him on as well. Can't wait to see what he comes up with. When he finds an area, we'll have to go and visit him. We have a visitor. I'm not sure what she's doing. Apparently she missed my message that I slept. Oh, I didn't sleep, I guess. Okay, bye. Well, hey, Steve Rabbits. Hi, Pax. So I came by so I could check out your base. I haven't seen it yet since you live so far from the rest of us. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't. Wait. I should not have gone as far as I did. It kind of backfired a little bit. I thought I saw an island that I liked the shape of. Turns out that island is way bigger than I thought. And now I'm stuck out here. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you picked an awesome location. Everything looks really good. Um, I'm Thank loving you. what you've done, so take me through and, and, and show me everything. Well, so I started off with the gazebo after, so I, okay, I originally had like a little hut, a little shack, just a box that I had everything in, and the very first thing that I actually built was this like fairy-themed gazebo. Um, it doesn't really look too fairy now, but it will. Um, I wanted to build this for my own videos as kind of like a, like a throne area that I could sit at the beginning of my videos to be like, Hey, you know, Steve rabbits, welcome. You know, mm -hmm. so I built, that's what this is for. Um, I don't really know what else I'm going to do with it yet, but it'll be cute. I'm sure. Awesome. Um, and then I wanted the, t uh, the portal to be in like an enclosed space because I'm a chicken and I don't like it when <laughs> I come out of the portal at night and there's monsters everywhere. Understandable. Um, <laughs> Understandable. So I wanted to protect it. So eventually this will be kind of like a fairy, like a mythal, uh, like a fantasy tower. Very good. Um, I, I love the, the color schemes. Yes, I love this deep slate. It is so cool looking. It's not as dark as Blackstone, but it still has that same look. I love it. Yeah, my entire and base is I, built out of it. <laughs> my uh, When I finally get my downstairs area working, I was going to do like basically all deep slate and then i was thinking about having the floor um the amethyst blocks yes because when you run on them they, they make that noise and i was like that'd be perfect for like intruders absolutely plus it'll give but. you that that nice little fairy yes. chime you know feel when you're when you're moving yes. across your base um i'm gonna figure out a way to connect this i'm thinking like a, a glass tunnel from the tower to the house i'm not 100 percent sure yet i might add on more buildings to the house and just make it look kind of like kind of like the burrow like a bunch of different buildings pushed together nice um Ooh, that's then a lot I've of got, copper yes so much copper it took so long and it's not worth it, and I'm never going to build with copper again <laughs> after this season. 
Uh, so is this is this all waxed? Is this the the fun? No. no, you're gonna let it change. Some... None of it's waxed. I'm gonna let it go all the way to the green, like this one. It's just since it's. I mean, it took me so long to collect all this copper. It's all in varying stages of of rusting mm -hmm. or oxidizing, um, and some. Of it, I've noticed that it doesn't all rust at the same time. Even if you place them all at the same time, it just kind of like. It's random. Yeah, and there's actually a method, and I'm not sure what the exact dimensions are, but if they're away from each other, they'll actually oxidize faster. Um, oh, really? Yeah. But I love how it looks, you know, f when you're walking up on it, it looks like it's two separate houses, almost like, like two little, um, yeah, two little cottages pushed up next to each other. Yeah, so I followed a guide. I am super not creative. I'm very linear, so I always have to follow guides for stuff, which is everything that you see here, except for the tower. I followed a guide. Um, but then I knew I wanted it to be bigger than the guide had for the house, so I... And I can't remember the name of the person that I watched. Something Fox. And um, I added this room back here, though, so it looks like two houses because I just copied this roof for this one over here okay um there's a section up front that doesn't look right and i haven't decided how i'm gonna fix it right here this little this little corner it doesn't look right so i would actually recommend bringing that out by two or three blocks so make it the roof come out further this this peak here um where the window is Mm -hmm. Extend this, just this section. Oh, extend this section. Okay, out, and I'm that'll and, meant this one. No, no, no. The the one with the the high peak or the the peak that's facing us. Um, okay. And that'll give you a little bit more depth, but it'll also separate the two different directions of um, a roof. That's not a bad idea. Thank you for that. I actually yeah. like that. Um, okay, so I will I will work on that. Ugh, more copper. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so then. I love these bridges. They're so cute. Yes, this uh, this caught my eye almost immediately. I love the way that the jungle wood just kind of complements. It's like got a pink tone to it. Mm -hmm. And then against the black or the, the, the deep slate, it just looks so... It pops. Yes, it does. So, and I love all the ivy and all the, the leaves. Gives it that fairy look. Um, and then inside is a big fat mess. <laughs> <laughs> These chests are full to the brim. When I moved out of the shack, I had to just throw it all in here because I originally intended the expansion to the house to be where the shack was. Mm -hmm. That is not the case anymore. <laughs> this <laughs> expansion to the house is right here, which is, you know, where you died. Yeah. We will, down this hole. <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> Oh, did um, I, oh you, you didn't end up going all the way down? <laughs> no, there's nothing down there. It's just it's just a hole. I oh, okay. literally just dug the hole. Gotcha. And got down to the bottom and was placing my uh, scaffolding at the moment that you fell. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure that there was a, a pool of water at the bottom. <laughs> nope. Oh. So what's the difference? So the, the drop thing is what we had in the last round, right? Yeah, so... Where there was just the tiny little pool at the bottom? Right. And Okay. So you'll get down much faster than if it's a full water column with a magma block at the, at the bottom. Um, okay. Plus, you won't take any damage, whereas with the magma block, if you don't get out of the tube right away, you're going to start taking damage from the magma. Okay. Um, so over here is... My vi will be my villager trading hall. This is again another guide that I followed. Um, I am petrified of trying to get the villagers, but I'm gonna do it because I'm so far away from everyone else that yeah. I need to. So, right on. I don't know if I like the uncut jungled jungle wood. I might replace this with like dark oak or maybe spruce i haven't decided yet but i don't like the green tone to this wood right and i'm not i can't remember off the top of my head how it looks once like if you strip it um well let's actually 
Nah, you, yeah, you still get you still get some of that green. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I I love jungle wood once you like turn it into slabs or like planks or whatever it's mm -hmm. called, but I don't like it when it's uncut. Um, and then down here is my mine, which I actually plan to have. Oops, I have to go back across the bridge. Bridge. Down here is the mine, and I actually have plan to have it connect to the house, just like everything else, and actually be the same scheme, color scheme as the bridge and the villager trading hall and everything. Right now, it's just a mine. Right on. Just functional. Yeah. And that's all I have so far. Well, this definitely puts my base to shame. Whatever. <laughs> Your pyramid is so cool. <laughs> And functional. I have none of the functionality yet. I have absolutely no farms going. Yeah, the I, I do I do enjoy making all my farms, and and now that my storage system is complete, it's it's much nicer. Yeah, my storage system and my XP farm are definitely top priorities. Once now that I've gotten down to the under area, um, because the chest monster in my house is petrifying and i don't know how to handle it <laughs> so so do you think you're going to end up making like an entire um like fairy village that's what i want to do um i actually have a bunch of stuff pinned for ideas in pinterest and something that i want to look at doing is making it kind of seem like it's miniature like i want to put giant mushrooms and giant butterflies like i want to put a giant butterfly on the house to make the house look like it's a little tiny fairy house that's awesome that'll be awesome and i know i know that there are guides for like making giant ants and dragonflies and all sorts of different insects so yeah that'll be that'll be real cool yeah do something like you know off in the the woods like somebody lost their shoe or their boot and it's just a gigantic Ooh, a boot idea. sitting there off in the distance. Put like a giant picnic somewhere with ants going to it. Hey, there you go. That'd be awesome. Well, cool. Well, I'm glad you showed me around. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what all you do. So, and thank you for visiting me. Absolutely. We'll see you later. Safe travels. It's a long journey. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, guys. And with that, we are going to wrap it up here. Uh, again, sorry that it took so long to get this episode out. Oh, we shouldn't have any issues like this going forward. If you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed seeing all the progress that we've made on the base, leave a like, make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>